Well, as the war in Ukraine continues to ravage that country here, some hope is going a long way with music connecting strangers and building unique bonds. As CBS News' John Diaz explains how a Long Island girl is, per, is proving you're never too young to help out. We all know it's impossible for the tranquilizing sounds of this violin to make its way from Long Island to Ukraine without technology. But luckily for this young violinist playing and those feeling her impact, it's 2023. So not only are her talents being felt, but her generosity as well. I want people to see how unfair it is. And I want people to actually like try and help. Nadia Saeed is only 11 years old. However, this old soul is helping someone older than her, a man who was once a stranger to her family. Ukrainian luthier. His name is Alexander Smikovsky. He fled with just like a backpack and the clothes he was wearing. The violin maker lost almost everything in an instant when Russians bombed his town, destroying his violin shop. Nadia and her mother read about it in an online music magazine. I just saw it in her that, you know, oh my God, goodness, what do you mean? You know, what, what is he going to do? What can we do? Can we help him? So the two connected with Alexander and started up a GoFundMe page for him. In almost a year, they have raised close to $20,000. Making a violin is not easy, so we understand how much goes into it. And, and there's this person who spent his whole life perfecting something, and then it's all destroyed. It's all taken away. Alexander says he's forever grateful, and Nadia's kindness gives him hope there will be a better tomorrow. Her help is making a real difference in my life. It is truly humbling to know that someone as young as Nadia could demonstrate such compassion and empathy for someone you have never met. But then I realized that our love of music resounded like a single tuning fork in our hearts. And Nadia couldn't agree more. And so through this journey, do you feel some sort of connection to him? Yeah, I think we're really connected through the strings. They're nearly 5,000 miles apart, but this bond is stronger than the strings on any violin. <laughs> From Roslyn, Long Island, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.